Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Babes here, coming at you with another video. And before we start the video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Honestly, I started this channel with zero subscribers a few months ago, and I already have 100 subscribers. So, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you very, very much for that. Thank you for commenting, watching my videos, liking the videos, whatever. If I've helped you to get better over the past few months then my job is done because that's really what I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to get you guys to be better players so for today's video I wanted to talk about gun accuracy how to get better gun accuracy and how to maintain good gun accuracy because in my personal opinion I think gun accuracy is one of the most important factors in deciding whether or not you're a good player and as I said in my previous video of how to get better in Call of Duty you can look at a pro player stats and you can see that their gun accuracy is usually very very high and that's because they simply don't miss a lot of bullets but if you're a pub player like me how is the best way to get good gun accuracy now I don't only play pubs I used to play competitive way back in Black Ops 2 but over the years like I said I've learned a lot of little things that you might not have learned uh, thought about before and I can share my tips with you and that's what I want to do in this video. So the first and foremost most important thing to getting good gun accuracy is to be on target before you start to shoot. So what I mean by that is you're going to want to be aimed in before you actually start to shoot. So let's say you're running around the map and whatever and you see a guy you run into somebody get into a gunfight you're not going to want to start shooting and then aim you're actually going to want to aim first and then start to shoot one really good indicator of whether you're doing this or whether you're uh, spraying pretty much is if you've ever gone the final kill cam you can really tell in the final kill cam if you've either started to shoot first and then aim or if you've aimed first and then shoot if you're watching any pro player, uh, any competitive game, you can immediately see that the pro players almost always aim first. They make sure that their target is in the middle of their screen or their sight or whatever, and then they start to shoot. So that's the number one most important factor in determining your gun accuracy. If you're a person that likes to spray a lot, if you're a person that likes to hit fire a lot, obviously your gun accuracy is going to suffer for that. So you're going to want to make sure that most of your bullets are going to hit as soon as you start to shoot versus the majority of your bullets, you know, just hitting the air and then your target after you start to shoot. Because that's what gun accuracy is, is. It's basically how many bullets hit on target versus how many bullets don't. So that's very, very important. But this next tip is one thing that I think a lot of players don't realize that they're doing and they don't necessarily think of it when they're in a gunfight. And so to get better gun accuracy, to get that percentage of gun accuracy up, what you're going to want to not do is you're not going to want to overfire your weapon. So for example, on the M8, I'm just going to use the M8 as this example because it's one of the most popular guns in the game. If you're using the M8, usually with that gun, it takes about two bursts or eight bullets to kill a person. You can kill a person in one burst, but it's very, very hard to do because you have to be on perfect target and you have to shoot all four bullets to actually kill a person. Because I think the M8 does 30 damage at minimum, and so that would be four bullets to kill. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I know for sure it's not a three bullet kill gun. So you either have to hit all one burst, you know, meaning all four bullets in that one burst, which is highly unlikely, or you have to hit a com combination or a mixture of bullets from both of the bursts. So you need four bullets to kill out of eight bullets. That's going to be about 50% accuracy, right? Four divided by eight is uh, 0.5. So what I'm trying to say here is that because it only takes two bursts to kill with the M8, you don't need an additional burst most of the time. So if you're right up close to somebody and you shoot two bursts with the M8, they're going to be dead. But if you shoot an additional burst, just because you're not entirely sure that they're dead or that you just want to be sure that they're dead that additional burst is four bullets that are not on target that's four bullets that are pretty much just going into the air at a random uh target and they're not hitting anybody so your gun accuracy is going to suffer tremendously from that missed burst pretty much 
And this goes for any gun. With the VMP, this is very actually kind of hard to do because with the VMP, you shoot at uh, 900 rounds per minute, and it's just very hard to determine when to stop shooting. Uh, and oftentimes you just shoot way too many times before the guy or after the guy is already dead. And I'll admit I do this also. It's really hard to kind of gauge when to stop shooting with the VMP or any gun that shoots very fast. But if you um, if you get a feel for the VMP and its kill time, um, over time you can acquire like this uh, sense of when to stop shooting or how long it should it should take for the uh, other person to die obviously that's gonna depend and it's dependent upon your connection in game your hit detection your lag compensation all that stuff matters a lot in call of duty but for the most part you should get a general average feel for how long the gun should kill versus um, when you should stop shooting so that's a very general and important tip for any gun that you use and you should be conscious of that when you're playing Call of Duty to get that accuracy stat up. Thirdly, I think one very important thing to do is to center your weapon. I've talked about this in multiple videos already, but honestly, centering is one of the most important things that you can adjust to your gameplay and you're gonna almost be better instantly so i suggest you always have your crosshairs centered so that even if you do hit fire before you aim in most of those hit fire bullets um are on target before you even aim in and then you can aim in and finish the kill versus not being centered and then spraying first you know all those bullets are counting against your gun accuracy and then aiming in that's gonna lead to a really really bad um, gun accuracy stat also as i said before centering is more important on different weapons than it is on others so on smgs for example centering is extremely important but on something like an lmg it's not too important because on the hit fire on LMGs it sucks anyway so you're almost never going to want to hit fire with an LMG you're always going to want to be aimed in and you're not going to be want to you're not going to want to be close range with an LMG either so with an SMG with a pistol with a shotgun those are very very important weapons to be centered in with uh, and then with LMGs and assault rifles it's not so um, important but it is definitely still important um, and for snipers I think it's necessary to be centered when you want a quick scope so that's something and finally it's just the general like controlling of the accuracy and the attachments that you run on your weapon um, really the best attachments to lower accuracy are the grip the grip works very very well in black ops 3 not so much in black ops 2 uh and then i don't even know about ghost or advanced warfare but in in black ops 3 the grip is one of the best attachments that you can add to your weapon to lower the gun accuracy also there are certain sights in this game that help to diminish accuracy and i personally did know about this you know before it was made available to the public knowledge because i could feel the difference in the gun accuracy in the beginning of the game um the boa sight i kind of felt that it really helped with the gun accuracy but the boa sight kind of sucks <laughs> the red dot and the elo sight are way better so there are certain sites in this game that do uh lower gun accuracy among them are the boa um, there's the Varic site, which is really, really good at lowering gun accuracy, and in fact, the Varic site has the most effect on gun accuracy out of all of the sites, so if you want to even get a more, um, noticeable effect than just grip, you can even just put the bow, or not the boa, the Varic site on your weapon, and you'll notice a very, very, uh, tangible feel for the accuracy on your weapon. It'll be lowered a lot. I think the ver there's one more uh, sight in this game that helps to diminish gun accuracy, but I can't remember it right now. But the Varic sight and the Boa sight are really the only ones that matter enough to um, be worth it. Because the Boa sight, as I said, it's not that clear. The Red Dot and the Elo sight are better. 
um, and the Varric site actually is okay, but I think it zooms in a little bit too much to be usable in every single scenario. I've definitely tried the Varric site on a lot of guns, and I can say that it makes the MA an absolute laser, and it makes the Man of War slightly better to use, but the Man of War has really, really bad accuracy uh, to begin with, so it's not that great of an attachment for that gun. And finally, I'm just going to pull out a quote straight from the multiplayer loading screen tips. You know those little tips that you get when your multiplayer screen loads? One of them says that if you have a fully automatic weapon, you shouldn't fire it fully automatically at long distances. And that's true even for weapons that you um, feel like spring. So, for example, the Man of War. Uh, the Man of War takes three bullets to kill at any range in the map, pretty much. You don't need to be spraying your weapon at long range, hoping that three of those bullets uh, connect to your target. You can just push the f trigger down three times, and assuming all of your bullets are on target, the other guy is going to be dead. So, with uh, assault rifles that are fully automatic, like the HVK, the KN-44, um, or the ICR, at long range you're not necessarily going to want to be spraying them or holding down the trigger fully. You want to be shooting them like they're burst, burst weapons or burst assault weapons. And uh, with SMGs as well, this is a good tip, just don't spray it at full range or long range, full range. But actually just tap the trigger because the more bullets that you spray the uh, more accurate or rather the more recoil you're gonna get on your weapon oh and then one final final tip I was watching Parasite stream the other day he's a competitive uh, Call of Duty professional player and he was talking about gun accuracy and something that he said really caught my attention so he was saying that he talked to the, the developers of the game and that the developers mentioned something about um, the gun accuracy and the hit markers, how they're related in this game. And so what he was saying pretty much is that the more hit markers that you get it versus another person when you're in a gunfight, the lower amount of gun accuracy, or rather the lower amount of recoil your gun has. And so that kind of struck me as odd because that really has never been a mechanic in any Call of Duty game as far as I know. Um, but he said that for sure that this is a mechanic in this game. So if you've noticed sometimes that when you're shooting the VMP or the Vesper or the Weevil or whatever fully automatic assault rifle or SMG or assault rifle in the game, that it sometimes kicks to the right or kicks upward the reason for that apparently is because the way that the recoil is coded into the game is that if you miss a few bullets and you don't get hit markers the recoil on the gun actually increases versus when you hit the majority of your bullets on target to begin with then the recoil is going to be less um i personally haven't found a way to really test that the way i was going to test it is by going into a custom game setting the health of the bots you know to like a thousand percent or something but you can only set it to a maximum of 200 so there's really no way that you can test that out um but um, he said that that's like a coded feature into the game, so I'm going to take his word for it. So that's all for the video, guys. I hope I helped you on how to get better gun accuracy in Call of Duty. This will not only help your gun stats, but it'll help you get better gun skill, and it'll help you to win more gunfights, which in the end is definitely what makes you a better player and helps you to stand out from the rest. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it, comment down below letting me know what you think of these tips. Did they work for you? Do you know any tips personally that might help other people? Definitely let me know down below. And until the next video, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one.